So on our player on the right this morning is Marcel Manzano, none other than one of the co-casting members of the Gold Squadron podcast from the Chicago, Illinois area. Woo! Very happy to have him and Dion Morales up here. Uh, we were thrilled to provide Dion with a forum for him to actually play for a change. No pressure on hauling gear or casting or bringing the community content um, you know, for his listeners or anything like that. We were, we were loving his, just seeing him uh, do his thing. Um, gave him a nice little sample of that good old-fashioned Canadian beer uh, afterwards last night at the dinner table. That was lovely as well. And, uh, and yeah, we're back this morning in uh, fine form. Marcel is rocking a very interesting Rebel uh, three-ship list. Again, tremendous action economy and efficiency between the two of them. So With he's got... Core and fork and horn, no less. Yeah. No. I mean, top table, it's nice to see a Corrin horn again. We haven't seen too many... Uh, Corrin's uh, with success in the last little while, um, which is a little frustrating. But, you know, at the same time, the cost of the E-Wings have come down. Uh, cost of fire control system came down one point. Rebe Leia came down one point. So let's go through his list really quick. We've got the Corrin Horn middle piece at I-5. Uh, Corrin's rocking a simple talent, just crack shot. Got his fire control like system for capitalizing on those long-range target locks that the E-Wing chassis mm -hmm. gets and a set of proton torpedoes. Proton torpedoes, of course, having gone up in price to 12 points. Uh, who knew? They're still good. Yes. <laughs> and then you've got uh, Wedge Antilles in the uh, T-65 X-Wing chassis, one of the meanest, baddest pilots on the Rebel squad. Uh, Wedge is at I-6, who reduces agility with one uh, by one die when he takes a shot at you. He's also rocking a, a set of Proton torpedoes. He's mean and lean here. Yeah, precisely. But for that Proton. He's uh, both... Um, Corrin and Wedge going to be able to fire those Proton Torpedoes before I-5 is complete, so that's a pretty good chunk of damage to be able to rock out that quickly. Mm -hmm. Rounding out Marcel's list is a U-Wing, which also came down in price alongside the crew that is on that. Now Cassian says at the beginning of the activation phase you can change uh, the state of a stress. You take one friendly ship stress token and you eat that stress. Nom, 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 nom. You just eat that stress right away. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the combination of that uh, in conjunction with Leia Hard is... Hard counters, Tavs, and, and Phasma. So it's safe to say that Marcel has a good chunk of mechanics to combat Christian's list. Christian definitely has one more gun, but um, it's going to be interesting to see who can put their pieces into the most advantageous position because um, Tavson is not just... Uh, a synergetic coordinating uh, Phasma carrier. Tavson mm. also shoots four dice. He does. And if you shoot at Tavson at the wrong time and give Tavson the combination of focus target lock or jam or, or whatever, uh, that can really cascade down into a, a, a bad situation for you. The four dice attack is something to be feared. Mm. So we've got action already. We've got Marcel all up in the left corner here. Uh, we will see shortly who he uses the E-Wing's long-range scanners on to target lock. <laughs> we've got a stall from Cassian. And we've got Muse and Tavson sticking together, which is no surprise. They will be doing that, as I mentioned before, in order to work that Tavson magic. I love Muse. Muse is fantastic. Just a great little ship. 34 points. And this combo of two ships is just amazing. Not so, to mention Muse can help Scorch, too. So Muse with Fanatical is the same cost as a TIE Interceptor, PS1, or a TIE Striker. Scandalous. PS1. Scandalous. And by the way, I can give every single one of your ships basically push the limit for free, because you can link your actions and not take a stress. <laughs> Scandal. <laughs> it's ironic, though, because there aren't that many ships that have red linked actions in the FO faction. Like, the, the TIE That's FOs true. don't have linked actions. The SFs don't have link, red and linked actions. So your Muse is best served tagging along with a Upsilon that likes to stop or um, silencer. the Silencer. Just, yeah, absolutely, the Silencer. But the problem is, is that the Silencer is so much faster than mm -hmm. the FO. Uh, it's tough to keep Muse in that range one band. Whereas if you do what Christian's done here, which is keep these two within a reasonable distance of each other, yep. you're going to be able to actually, um, yeah. Marcel is trying to decide what to do with his action, and he's gone with a boost. Is he locking as well? Yes, he is. That links to the lock action on the E-Wing. 
And the lock is going on Scorch. Okay, so he's declared his intentions there to target Scorch, whether that's a fake or who he really means to kill uh, is an open question, but it is a good piece to target first. You can get Scorch off the board uh, with a Protorp pro shot and maybe another one. And if you do, uh, you don't worry about his three dice flying at you all the time. You went through Scorch's ability? So Scorch takes a stress and may roll an extra red die when attacking. He does that in the combat phase. when he's So if you're familiar with Zeta Leader from 1.0, yeah. that would be the same ship. I love that they've taken some of the ships uh, from the previous version and actually just kind of reinvented them with naming conventions in 2.0. It's great. I think that uh, Christian is first player, actually. I think you're right. I was just seeing the, um, the quick draw move before Wedge. Yeah, yeah, that might have just been a mistake, but we'll get that confirmed in a moment. If that's the case, that means that both the E-Wing and the X-Wing can target lock quick draw with Torps, which is huge. Yeah, I agree. Um, because, of course, Corrin can do it with his long-range scanners. So I'm probably willing to guess at this point that Marcel's going to either two-bank his U-Wing or he's going to try and come this way and keep the U-Wing behind his formation. Yeah, I would lean to the latter move if I were him, but uh, use him as a coordinate battery until he gets back into position to shoot. From what I gather, this kind of list depends a lot on giving double actions to uh, Wedge to make that single proton torpedo shot that he might get off before getting focused down really count. Well, I mean, not having double mods on a Protor can be risky. It can be saddening. I mean, think about it. Your Protor has two charges. That means each shot six points. Yeah. And if you're wasting it not getting double mods and only doing one damage to a shield, then you're not really getting your money's worth, are you? Indeed. You know, I've <laughs> shot a proton torpedo with Wedge at Dutch Vander and done no damage. Oh, you shot it. Remember the protorp? You shot it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've had some interesting protorp shots at League Nights, you and me, bud. Yeah, for sure. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> All right. So what does Christian do here? He's got Scorch. It is locked tough. by Corrin. That's worrisome. It may be a feint from Marcel. He may be planning to turn that towards is, quick draw. Is the three forward on the Ypsilon blue? That's a good question. I don't think so. But I don't know. Uh, I'm going to check because I have look. a completely crazy idea. You one turn, and then you three forward the next turn, and then you're here. So we've got what's likely going to be a slow approach unless Christian takes Tim's wild plan and puts it into action mm. from the FOs. Now, very likely, Christian is just going to take Scorch and curl him back. He could call Marcel's bluff here, but two proton torpedoes and Scorch is pretty game no, ending. Three forward on the Ypsilon's white. My bad. So we've got a three bank from Tabson. Yeah, that's a quick move. Excited. Christian wants to get Tabson in the fight. More importantly, I think that for, for a ch nice change of pace, Tabson's actually got a piece on the board that he can keep up with. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it, you know, the, the U-Wing's a slight, slight bit faster. <laughs> no, it's true. It is. I never, I never thought I would refer to a U-Wing as fast. But. not being outpaced by <laughs> Phantoms and X-Wings and stuff. Well, I mean, Tapson's a fantastic Upsilon uh, shuttle, and one of the reasons that I think you and I chose this match out of the other uh, six games that were happening, because, of course, we are in top 16. Yes. But the two 6 and O's uh, do receive first-round buys. So we've only got 14 players playing seven matches this morning. And who are these two celebrated heroes? Do we know? Uh, I know that one of them was uh, Colin Pinkerton. Colin. The Dagobah Dogs from the east end of the Toronto. Uh, With a Wedge Dutch Luke yeah. list. Who That's knew? it. Pro wedge Pro Dutch, so good. Dutch and Luke. That's yeah. it. <laughs> and then you've got um, Andrew Durham from the Dagobah Dogs, who's also in the uh, the top cut with his squad mate Colin. But Andrew's a little bit further down the, the pairing. So Andrew's playing right now. Right. So all we can do is celebrate Colin Pinkerton at this point. Okay, we have eight bank away from Scorch here. We've got Cassian Wedge yet catching to move. up with Wedge. Oh, he's just, uh, Marcel is deciding on Corrin's actions. Does he boost? Does he acquire a target lock on someone else? Really tough call here to see if that 5-4 doesn't nick the top of the middle figure there. I think that's clear. But I'm not going to shotgun another beer on account of it. Uh, we've got a blue maneuver for Wedge because he's linked. He did a coordinated linked action. 
So he's going to blue to clear that. Quick draw is just hanging out at the back. Quick draw is like, yeah, I'm, I'm when, when this fight gets interesting, I'll do? get in there. Sorry, what would you say, Tim? I'm just like, what's he going to do? The, the three turn on the SF is white now, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Used yeah, it's a red. lot faster. Yeah, used to Five straights and three turns have become white. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, Poe gets in the bloody thing in The Force Awakens. Oh, this thing can really move. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So, so I thought Corn was going to try to go fast and get behind the, uh, the formation, but I guess not, eh? So he took some time to think about that. He's done a boost, so he can't now for focus. And on this screen, I'm not sure if that's range. I think it is, but, you know, I've been wrong before. I'm not sure why we're still waiting here. Oh, I guess Corn is deciding if he's going to switch his lock. Yeah, I think it's an interesting choice. Does he want to keep his Pro Torp uh, locked on Scorch, or does he want to take this opportunity to shoot Tavson out of arc? It's been a long activation phase for Corrin. It's such a tough call, right? You want to get some damage into the Upsilon, but at the same time, you you don't want to waste a Pro Torp when you have no chance of dumping a crit into that hull, right? I think you take the Protorp shot just to take some shields off. Just to take the shields off? The thing is, he'll only have a lock in this circumstance. He won't have a focus. And as we were discussing before, Protorps with one mods can, can really leave you saddened. Well, the interesting game design behind older. the E-Wing e chassis, making sure that the E-Wing cannot get a focus target lock shot unless it's took, taken two turns to do it. Mm -hmm. I really like... I mean, unless you get Cassian or... You have some other mechanic in your list to provide that second mm -hmm. modification. Like and natively, the chassis doesn't let you do it. I think that's a really interesting balanced. Mm -hmm. And the uh, thing about choice, a coordinate right? ship, which is worth saying, is if you take a coordinate ship to do a thing, like a double mod, you're losing the efficiency on the coordinating ship Correct. to do the thing with the efficiency on the other ship. Unless you're Captain Psy, but that's neither here that's nor there. That's true. Because he's kind of awesome. She, actually. Is it she? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's besties in the, in the stories with. Um, with the ooh, the ten point card that allows you to do wiggly barrel rolls to do one oh, name. Cena, Sierra, whatever. Her yeah, her, yeah, yeah. They're best you pals. Do a and then like thing. Thane is dating both of them, but they're Empire and he's Rebel, and it's yeah. Sounds it's like a, it's like the a, youth market material. The, the Real Housewives of, of <laughs> it's the, the Empire youth market or material. It's good. I like it. Gianna Ray, thank you, the Rocker Crocker. Okay, so we've got both of Marcel's ships out of arc. We are now under the one hour mark, so we've taken 15 minutes to get to the first turn of engagement because I reckon there's at least a range three shot coming there. Mm -hmm. So not a bad amount. Wedge having moved. Cassian a little bit further back than I expected. Still, I like Marcel's position here. Uh, I like where See, Wedge I, is. I nice. don't like the barrel roll, though. I would have actually preferred if Wedge had barrel rolled this way. Because then you've got both lanes charged, and now Tavson has to choose, do I go for this lane, or do I turn and go up this lane? The answer so, to that is kill Wedge. Yeah, Wedge has definitely got to die at some point. We got an R2 uh, Astromech on Corrin, so, you know, he can take a couple hits and keep coming back. So he'll take a while. Wedge, once you kill him, he's gone. No more I six shots. Well, definitely a very uh, a great example of Marcel's uh, seasons. Nope, just taking his, pro his primary shot there. Tavson was, may well just evade that. Yeah. Go Tavson. Yep, yeah, fully evaded. Awesome. But you know, you've got Corin set up for the first Pro Torp shot, and then Wedge with a three bank set up for a Pro Torp shot the following turn from the same spot, basically, right? So Marcel's basically picked this point on the board mm -hmm. and said. Okay, you know what? I'm going to shoot pro two Protorps from this direction. Mm -hmm. And whether it's against you or you or you or whatever it is, I'm just going to sit there and see what I come out with. It's not a bad strategy, right? Can he get Cassian close enough to coordinate uh, Corrin? I don't think he can. Hmm. I'm trying to see where that, thinking about that three bank, I think that'll still leave him at range three. So what do you do with Cassian? Do you keep him on a wide berth? Near the bottom of the board edge, or you just two turn at this point? Yeah, three bank Tavson. this turn. The long three bank? Yep. Yeah. I mean, if Tavson comes from him, that's the only shot that's going into Cassian. It's not too bad. Wedge and Corrin can turn on Tavson. Okay. Muse is not in a great spot. She can't two straight. She has to two bank right. I think that's her only move. 
which is going to split her for Tavson. Unless, of course, Muse can overshoot Tavson and Tavson stalls. But I don't like a stall from Tavson here. I feel Marcel is trying to get in on Tavson's flank. So I think it's two turn or three bank for Tavson. Yeah, I think the two turn right is the right call, Aaron, because the following turn you can actually come about again, thread the needle through those rocks, and then engage Cassian mm -hmm. with Tavson. Plus, I think the two turn from Tavson forces the encounter with Wedge, which you want to get over with if yep. you're the FO player. I mean, I'm really happy we chose this matchup because what I think one of the things that we wanted to convey to whoever's watching, at least from what we've experienced in our meta here in Toronto, is that there are lots and lots of fun combinations of lists that you can put on the table with a Upsilon shuttle that don't involve the triple hyperspace For tracking sure. data variant or two of them and whatever. Like, just putting one of them, like a Starkiller base pilot, or in this case, Tavis, and there's also Petty Officer Thanison, who mm -hmm. I love, uh, great pilot ability. Um, you know, it gives you a little bit more flex flexibility and variety of choices when it comes to list building, when you only t agree to yourself, okay, I'm just going to take one. But, you know, here's an example of Christian who went through the field of just nasty sharks and all kinds of crazy uh, extended format variations yesterday. Shoveled his way through it with yeah. Tavson. Yeah. Christian and I were talking about this list, and uh, his fondness for Tavson cannot be exaggerated. Very good point. Very interesting. You know, that the Upsilon could one turn here, and Muse is going to nom, 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 eat that stress. Yeah. Muse is right behind Tavson. Will the one turn put the Upsilon on a rock? The one turn right? No. No, the one turn right would land the Upsilon perfectly between those two rocks. All right. So we've got Muse. She just bumping into the back of Tavson. Oh yeah, Muse has to go first. Yeah, she's going to bump gonna clear. Hard no. Okay, so Muse is going to bump into the back of Taps and maintain arc in the right direction. She's not a high priority target, so maybe that's okay. No, she's kind of like the Ewing in this case, right? She's part of the efficiency mechanic. Yep. But if you take her out, it still doesn't change that the Upsilon can do its stuff. It still doesn't change that, you know, a few other things can happen, but. So, Tavson does yeah. the three bank. We got Tavson taking a lock on the Ewing. Tavson taking the YOLO approach here. Just going right in there. That's how he does it. Trying to get shots on uh, Cassian. Scorch continues to disengage, expecting a three bank boost from Corin, I guess. Yeah, interesting choice. I love that Christian is expecting Marcel to blow past the Upsilon shuttle with Corin. Mm -hmm. And he's put his ties in a position to engage Corrin. Interesting, though, Corrin is and not Corrin taking the bait, not threading up through the middle of the board and going to try and take Corrin a flank. Corrin going for it. Will he get the lock with, with the range with the boost anyway? I think he might. Yeah, that's range. Well, you already lost one range bet to me this weekend. You really want to make it two? <laughs> uh, that <clears throat> Cam messed up that ruling. Quite clearly. We'll have the, the archival evidence. We'll go back. Oh, you want to go through the, vo the footage yeah. before you crush that beer? That I, I do. Okay. I, I, I want some proof, man. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Cassian taking that cautious three bank that you were talking about. Going to cost him dearly in this point. Well, if somebody shoots at uh, Tavson, it Yves will Salon's cost him extra. Target lock on the U-wing here. Yeah, he'll be double modded if somebody shoots that guy. So here, I mean, this is an interesting decision for Marcel. He could coordinate the focus, as was probably planned, to wedge. Or he could take the focus for defense, and wedge could decide not to shoot Tavson. But that seems bad, depending upon wedges, what wedge has got on that dial. Now, we don't have any way to tell what position uh, wedge's foils are in. Maybe the wings on the ship? I imagine at this point they're closed. Yeah, based on the wings that are there. Plus, we've seen Wedge boost a few times. We did see him boost last round, so but that was before he activated, sure so I don't know. Marcel just considering if he's going to open them or not. But the reason he's taking the time to consider is because if the wings are closed, he can still fire a proton torpedo and get max dice. I think he's deciding whether or not he wants to fire the proton torpedo at taps in this turn. So he's just focusing. Yeah. So he's going with the defensive measure, which maybe Christian's plan with the lock was to attempt to force this. 
to, to back him back Marcel into this choice. Right. Now Scorch is still going to eat this Protorp over here, but it's one mod. Christian's player one, so Quick Draw will move first. Yep. Quick Draw that three whips turn around to the engage asteroid. Horn Horn here. Not sure if he's going to get range. Oh, he's got range of Corn. Might be a good time for take a lock. See what happens. Yep. Some nice flying from Christian here. That was if a you nice fail the call. Lock, you're not really losing anything because all you do is one bank next yeah. turn anyway. So he didn't pick up a ruler. He knew that was right. He just knew it. Yep. See. It's not his first rodeo. No, it ain't. You got to remember, Christian isn't just an, a gifted X-wing player, Aaron. We're talking about a man <coughs> uh, who will be representing Canada Ooh. at the Armada World Championships at Adepticon uh, in Marcel's backyard later this year. Ooh. So Christian takes a lot of those strategic and tactical fundamentals from Armada and try to scales them down in size to some of his fundamental X-Wing play. Obviously, you can't do as much of the trading and, and sacrifice play that you do in mm -hmm. Armada. Uh, that you, you can do X-Wing, you have far fewer ships. But Look at this. Yep. Pro Torp lock, nothing else with Wedge. Oh. It's an interesting choice. Single mod, Wedge could dump the four damage in, but you're basically guaranteeing four damage on the U-Wing. Well, so I, I feel like this opening has gone Christian's way despite the fact that he ended up taking first player. This is about the one of the better uh, <clears throat> things, situations he could hope for, I think. Would you concur with that? Whoa, we're on Wedge dice. Wedge just going to fire... Uh, no, sorry. Quick draw. Quick draw fires first. Yeah. So he's got a target lock. Is he going to reroll Quick draw that? has fire control system. He, she does not. Going to roll into... Yeah, Quick Draw has fire control. No, he doesn't. Wow, yeah. Not according to our list here. Spend that lock. Hit, hit, crit. I thought he did have FCS. I thought he did, too. FCS, okay, so we've got Corrin, one hit on Corrin. Take one damage. Yeah. Oh, no. The lock is gone. Corrin has taken one hit. Okay. So one shield on Corrin. <coughs> E-Wings, of course, sporting that fancy third shield since 2.0 got launched. Mm -hmm. Bit of a beastly. Uh, With their good old three green dice. Yeah, three green. I mean, three, 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 three stats. Not bad, right? Mm -hmm. I'll take those for 85 sure. points. All right. So it looks like Wedge is going to shoot that Torp. <clears throat> That's what he's here to do. Okay. Spent the charge. Let's so a lot hangs on the variance here. here. Not that a great start. is awful luck for Marcel. Spending the lock. See if uh, the reroll does any better. Not really. I think we've got two. Got two damage. Might get one. No, he'll get both because he's wedge. Oh, that's right, of course, yeah. Uh, no, the Tapson will still roll one for, no, no range three bonus either. I don't think there's a rock in the way. Yeah. Two shields off of the Upsilon, going to use Tapson's ability to off take light. an action, after taking damage, focus up for that double ta double modded four die shot on the U-Wing. I'm rooting for Tavson in this. Once Tavson is, if he destroys Marshall's ships, Horn okay. Horn going to fire the Protorp at Scorch here. Doing a bit better than Wedge did. Three. Still only three, but of course, Scorch gets green dice. Scorch going to see how much he's taken here. Going to focus not bad, not two. bad. Or take a crit. He loses the shield. Loses the crit. Powers up Fanatical. Yes. Fanatical now in effect on Scorch. Not bad, not bad. For Christian. No, we were talking earlier. I mean, I don't know about you, Aaron, mm -hmm. but from my perspective, that was a waste of 12 points. I mean, it wasn't that he planned it poorly. It was just that what has netted out as a result is 12 points spent on two single charge pro torp shots that have netted out one shield on a two shields on a Upsilon and and one shot. Now, does Tapson have arc on wedge? Oh yeah, he does. Unbelievable. This is what I was saying. I think this is Christian's plan. This was to. Bait Wedge into shooting at him. Not doing so well. All right, so three. No defensive three. token for nope. Wedge. Ooh, that's going to hurt. Was that three? I couldn't see the third dice. I couldn't see the third result, but I think three are going through here. Yeah, that's Two what shields and Christian a wanted to see. Yeah, half health on Wedge. Great start round one. 32 points on the board for Hurricane Jeremy. Christian comes out one shield ahead, and we must recognize two of those shields are on Tavson, and Tavson don't care much. So I think Marcel's definitely sporting a position mm -hmm. that he wanted. He's definitely got all his ships where he wanted them to. Mm -hmm. uh, round one definitely didn't go, I think, the way he wanted to. He traded two shields on the Upsilon and just the shield on Scorch for uh, a plank off of Corrin's shields and wedge at half health. Quick draw in a position to really come in here and... Uh, Fence joust with uh, with Corn Horn here. Corn can try and blast away and get out of get out of dodge, but if 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 Christian can call Marcel's move here 
and put Corrin at half health this soon into the game, uh, mm -hmm. Marcel's going to have a long road ahead of him. Because at the end of the day, Muse is right here. Mm -hmm. So the Upsilon can just stop. Mm -hmm. And Cassian's not getting out of arc from where he is. Nope. And, you know, Wedge can sure come in and try and hit the Upsilon, but you've got, you know, Muse coming in. I think Wedge and Corrin have to turn on quick draw now. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think what will happen is we'll see a sloop. We'll see Leia proct. We'll see a sloop. And then a boost and a lock on quick draw. A boost lock on quick draw. Yeah, that's yeah. not a bad call because then you get the range two protorp shot. There's nothing quick draw can do about that. She cannot get out of that range. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to see Corrin and Quick Draw trade double taps this turn. That would be cool. It would be cool. I don't know if we've ever seen that on our stream. It's unlikely, but it's cool. It would be cool. Quick, Victor, can you scroll through all 5,000 VWTB Live Archive videos quickly and tell us if we've ever had a Corrin and a Quick Draw double tap each other? <laughs> what do we do with taps in here? That's a great question. That's why I'm prattling on. I have no <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> one bank is tempting because it. Sits him in the middle of various things. We've got Cassian there. Cassian will probably turn on Tavson at this point. He moves first, right? They're both threes. No, sorry. Tavson like moves first. And Christian's player one. So, yeah. So Tavson will move. I think it's safe to say that there's nowhere that Cassian can go to get away from the Upsilon this turn unless Ka Cassian, like, one banks this way and the Upsilon stops. But other than that... Wedge and Cassian, if he does a two-turn and ends up there and has his arc like that, I mean, Wedge and Cassian can get Tavson to half health in this turn. And then Tavson would only be able to take a return shot on Cassian because Wedge could very easily two-bank you know, two bank here yeah. and be about there. Yeah. I think he'd be about there. And then it would be a tough call to see if, if Tavson still has got him in arc. So. Well, I don't think Tavson stops here. No, I think, the, the I think style, yeah. one bank is the safe choice. Question is, is it the right choice? I really like the two-turn right. So the one thing I worry about, though, Aaron, is that if you do a one bank, then you're roughly about there. Yep. Cassian would love that if hit Cassian's two-turn yep. bumps him. If ta Cassian can avoid getting shot by that gun this turn, and then Wedge just, like, four forward boosts out of there. Mm -hmm. um, well, as I said, I think... The ideal, ideally, if he gets a bump with Cassian, if Marcel gets a bump with Cassian, then he can turn Wedge on quick draw, and Wedge and Corrin on quick draw can stripper shields, and that's, I mean, that's half the game yeah, yeah. for Marcel. Yeah, I mean, Scorch and quick draw. I feel the two of them together can take on Wedge and or Corrin, one of the two. Mm -hmm. right? Tavson definitely needs to do some work here. Um, now, Korn is also in a position where he can bug out and recharge two of his shields. He does have two charges on his R2 Astromech. Mm -hmm. um, so Christian just has to maintain focus when it comes to target priority because Wedge does not recharge. Yeah, kill Wedge. Every damage you get is permanent on Wedge. I mean, the thing about Wedge is even if he's just firing primary guns, even if they're unmodified, if he rolls hot, you're going to get hurt. So you want to kill Wedge just because you don't want some guy rolling around at I-6 punching you surprisingly for big amounts of damage. Yeah, I'm an I-6, so I shoot first. You roll one less green die, and by the way, I brought a Pro Torp. So yeah. yeah. I mean, Wedge kind of has a giant bullseye painted on his hull right yeah. now. Both these players Ooh. sporting very, very creatively crafted lists. We got a um, two straight from also, If not a little atypical some from what we've seen since 2.0's first come out. Ooh, two forward from Muse, not a three forward from Muse. I think the idea is just to keep Arc on Wedge wherever Wedge goes. Yeah. However this round goes, Muse can throw two yeah, dice at that's him. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid Muse didn't we do a three forward uh, or a bank, I should say, because Tapson was going to stop. But uh, let's see that. So Christian is explaining why he did the stop. I, You know, I was coming around to the stop myself. Forget about shooting Wedge with Tapson. Okay, so... Cassian doing the leisurely one bank. Don't know if he's going to get arc on the Upsilon from where he is. I think he's just going to supply Wedge with the focus. This is the round to get quick draw. Okay. Well. And, you know, he's. Tavson still has a target lock on Cassian. He does. Turn before. But Tavson by himself cannot kill 
Cassian in one turn. Likely will just take his shields at best. Yeah, the addition of Muse to the list is fantastic because what you're doing here at the beginning of the engagement phase, Muse is removing that stress token from Tavson, mm -hmm. powering up Tavson's ability to spend his charges and mm -hmm. take actions during the engagement phase because I was no longer stressed. So really, really fa a fantastic little uh, interaction efficiency list, similar to how Cassian pulls those stress tokens off of Corn and Wedge so those two guys can take linked actions and still Quite. bug out the following turn. So it's a really cool little um, duality of a similar uh, mechanic thing going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in this uh, top 16 match here. Okay, so we're deciding on Cassian's action. And he's, oh, he's deciding what action to coordinate to wedge. I think Marcel just has to get the focus or whatever into wedge. It wasn't that bad. So actually. thankfully we're all eliminated now and we can cast and bring you guys the good games. <laughs> well, these guys are playing a heck of a game over here. Uh, we've got just a turn from Scorch. I was expecting the sloop, but I was also expecting a sloop from Corrin. Corrin is probably turning towards quick draw yeah as soon as you said that the leia three sloop boost thing i was like yeah why wouldn't you do that oh please aaron 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 please <laughs> please please tell me we're going to get the the double tap trade off from corn and quick draw <laughs> this turn please we will see we will see marcel's definitely positioning for it all right so crickets, crickets maybe no uh we got marcel calling quick draws move cold that is bad news for Quick Draw. Hmm. I think Quick Draw probably still has Arc where he is. Yep. Going to be trading. Corrin's target lock is on Scorch, not Quick Draw. Quick Draw for Wedge here. Is that what we're doing? That looks like what's going to happen. Uh, no way could Quick Draw barrel roll out of that Arc. No, there's nowhere for Quick Draw to go from a repositioning standpoint. I definitely agree that the focus was the right call. I think that Corn and Quickdraw trading shields this turn is a bad thing. For Quickdraw? Yeah, because Quickdraw's shields mm -hmm. loss is permanent where Corn can bug out and recharge. I love that Scorch is right here because if following turn Quickdraw sloops and then Corrin's here, then Scorch has him covered, right? So we have garbage dice for Quickdraw's attack on Wedge. Oh, no. One shot from Quickdraw, three dice coming up from Corn Horn. Completely evaded. Uh, that's a uh, that's a uh, wedge's defense. Oh, that was wedge. Yeah, yep. sorry, wedge. My bad. He's the man to kill in this situation. And so we have the proton torpedo coming at quick draw. And she's got one die to defend, and this is focus locked. Yep. So this is bad. Is a pro torp on quick draw? Yep. And wedge gets what he Ooh, needs. Wedge needs to decide whether or not to spend the lock and mod that final result, or spend a focus token which he may need for defense coming up. If I were him, I would, hmm, I would spend the focus token. I would make spend sure quick draw takes as much damage as possible, try to get through, get a hull damage in here. He's thinking about it. I really uh, hate to point out, I think Muse forgot to remove the stress token off of the Upsilon. You're right. I think Christian was rattled by the... Mm -hmm. And it's the same... I think Christian was rattled by the... Uh, okay, so we got hit, hit, crit from the Protorp. It was into Tabson? No. No, Wedge reduced the agility. Yep. That's right, of course. So okay, Christian so spends the focus, focus. Taking two shields. Quick draws down two shields. Quick draw going to spend her charge and perform a primary attack. I can't uh, see I the third one. I think that last one's a blank. So two hits. Wedge going to roll three so dice. odds are pretty good that Wedge will make it here. Yep, yep. there you go. Wedge is going to live. Mew's going to get a follow-up shot on Wedge as well after Corrin shoots at Quick Draw. Finish off Quick Draw shields here. And he may, in fact, have the bullseye. We'll see in a moment. So it's half your desires come true. Yeah. Quick Draw did trigger her double tap, and yeah. Corrin does have bullseye, or we'll see in a moment. Oh, he's thinking about shoot. What are you doing, Marcel? Excellent sportsmanship from the Gold Squadron member here, uh, allowing Christian to trigger Mew's a little oh. later than usual. Yep, that's... Uh, We've had a great weekend with the boys from Gold Squadron. I think they're having a blast as well. Hit, hit, crit. From hit, hit, crit Horn into on Quick Draw. Quick draw. Double Quick evade. Draw, double evade. Losing that last shield. Exactly but what he... Oh. What the... Oh, crack shot. Crack shot. Crack shot. See, I am a huge fan of crack shot on the Rebel Aces. I keep telling people this, and they keep going, no, it's not true. That is the money. That was one point. Yep. And now you take a crit. Yep. 
And the crit is. And the crit is. Fuel leak. Ouch. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad when you got two health left, but it could be the end of you. Um, yeah. Well, quick draw's ability to dodge wedge entirely now is not great. No. Could be tough here. All right, so we got a four die shot from Tabson. Tabson taking a reroll lock on Cassian Andor here. Range two. Tabson oh. coming up short on those dice. That's rough. <laughs> yep. Just one result cleanly evaded from the U Wing. Not what Christian needed. Nope. Yeah, Marcel's Cassian getting some enviable chance. dice this turn. Cassian going to be in a position to take a long bomb on Muse and probably bail out and get out of the Upsilon's arc the following turn. And we are in debate. And Cam is settling things in his beatific way. Okay. It is in range. Marcel going to take a range three shot with Cassian. Throw some more here. hot dice. Hot dice. Hit, hit, hot crit. dice. Four dice from Muse. Muse don't care. Cleanly evaded. It would be interesting to see if Wedge is within range one of the Upsilon to trigger Phasma this turn. Yeah, only hit just one crit from Muse. That's got to be disappointing. Yeah. Christian's dice let him down that turn. Wedge just needs one result here to dodge. Yeah, he's yep, fine. That'll be okay. End of the combat phase. We're going to see if Christian remembers Phasma here. Mm -hmm. Don't see him reaching for it's a range. It's not ruler. quite the end of the combat phase. We oh, have right. your dream coming true in part. <laughs> it is the double tap. Here comes the corn double I tap. Well, the dream was if the two of them traded double taps. Yep. We're just seeing both double taps. So, And a quick draw. Going to take it. three hits from Corrin Horn here. Spend the focus. That'll do it for quick draw. R.I.P. Wow. Boom goes the dynamite. Scorch has his work cut out for him. Yep. Uh, this is a hard match for Christian to come back in. Yep. No, he's definitely got his Upsilon pretty far out of position to be able to come about and keep I the don't, pressure on. I don't mind Tavson so much. He can chase that where he can chase that U-wing, but he's not getting anything on those aces. We're gonna see if I know. I think they've just decided that that's range two, so they're yep. gonna try for Phasma. Looks like range two to me too. Corn Horn, still the man. Jeez. That was pretty impressive. Lovely positioning by Marcel. I mean, he called it. He called. He took the flank. Yeah. He got up there. Could have very easily gone a different way. Like um, Muse and Quickdraw could have pivoted quicker. And mm -hmm. Corin could have been in trouble. But I think um, uh, Marcel called that uh, Christian was going to prioritize going after Wedge. And, yeah, great call from the Gold Squadron. Punch. Yeah, I think. Checking for Phasma within just outside of range one. Okay, so how does Christian come back? With difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what, what can he do? I mean, here he's got to either choose to keep the pressure up and try to kill Wedge, or he's got to try and just kill Cassian and get himself back in this game. Wedge is not in a great position for getting out. But no, he's not. Two-turn bank, that looks possible. I mean, is this the turn to, ch uh, is this the turn to trigger Leia? We don't think so. I don't think so. It doesn't help Wedge that much. It doesn't help Wedge or Corrin. Corrin really kind of wants to... Corrin's just going to regenerate and fly somewhere. Yeah, Try I not think to he worry probably about just won Banks and, like, you know... He's still got a Torp left. He's already he's got a Weapons Disabled token. You might as well take another yeah. one and recharge a shield, right? Still got a lock on Scorch. He can't block Scorch or do anything to Scorch with Wedge, so scorch has one free with sorry with corin so scorch has one free round to try to get some damage into wedge and take him off the board but wedge got through that with all of his three hull last turn it's a good spot for muse i think it blocks a coordinated boost i think wedge's foils are still open so he could do that we've got a two turn for tabson I mean, he had to do that. He couldn't head out towards the board Ooh, edge. Ooh, does that big base fit? No. But that's okay. I mean, when you're flying one of these Upsilons and you're into the mid-game, you're like, if I get to point in the general direction of some enemy ships, it's a successful round. Okay, so there is a bump coming up from Tabson. Mm -hmm. Won't be able to clear that uh, little corner of wedge. I wonder that what that does... Uh, for Cassian that might you know that's an excellent call by Christian because if you block the U-Wing now you're not getting your coordinate so 
Yep. One forward from Cassian, I think, is okay. Um, it's a two turn. It's a two turn. Okay, so block the Ewing. Fair so enough. that's decent. I mean, the Ewing's still going to throw unmodified dice. At Muse. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And, uh, you know, Marcel showed us that he does well with unmodified dice. You don't need no mods. Yeah, he's been rolling hot today, that's for sure. Yeah. He's trying to massage that two turn in there. They're doing stuff. They're doing stuff. Cam will get up in there if necessary. Yeah. But remember, Marcel was one of the big dogs with trip jumps, so a whole bunch of traffic jams suit him just fine. He's fine. He's used to them. Yeah. I kind of feel that as well, just having played as many big bay ships in my day as I have as well. You like to get them all pressed together? Well, it's interesting because you gum up so much of the board. You're, you're, you're eliminating one of the advantages that, that small base ships have against you, which is maneuverability and speed. Absolutely. If you're gumming up the board and then you have nasty area effects like Phasma, for example, you, you know, you're, you're really making your opponent make harder decisions. <laughs> I mean, hilariously, the only ship on the board that Cassian can't uh, protect against being Phasma. Oh, man, did he hit the rock he did? Oh, so brutal. That is not what Scorch needed. Cassian is the only person who can't remove his stress yeah. at the top of the activation. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, that's pretty sad for Christian like that. Well, the timing windows don't match up because Cassian removes stress at the start of the co activation phase and Phasma deals it at the end of the engagement phase. But uh, Cassian can only affect other friendly ships, not himself. Uh, I'm not sure if it's another. Can you throw Cassian's pilot cord back up on the screen for us quickly, Victor? Thank you. Oh. No, one friendly. What? Oh, range one to three, not zero. No, that's not the zero. Issue. That's yeah. the issue. So it has to be zero for it to apply to yourself? Yep. Okay. Yeah, Scorch definitely didn't want to hit that rock this turn. It was definitely uh, an opportunity to dump some damage into Corrin, but... Uh, or a wedge. Yep. All right, so Corrin Horn did actually spend a charge, take a second weapons disable token, and recharge a shield with his R2 astromech. As a reminder to our viewers in 2.0, weapons disable tokens, much the same way that ion tokens work, do clear all at once. So despite having two weapons disable tokens on Corrin Horn, next turn both of them will clear at once and Corrin will be able to shoot. Yeah, literally... No reason not to use it in that combo. So Wedge did fit, and that's just a terrible round for Christian, unfortunately for him. That's a free shot for Wedge onto a helpless and shieldless Scorch, uh, and that's a unmodded shot from Cassian into Muse. Oh, man, it's a Torp shot from Wedge. Here it comes. Oh. Why is it only two dice? We got Wedge shooting here. Yeah, he's not spending a Torp. Wow. Hit and crit. So one crit for Scorch. Well, Scorch is on a rock. Scorch can't shoot here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. He, I guess he evaded damage from the rock. I think he's taking a crit. It's disabled power regulator. Brutal. Despite the fact that you aren't shooting this turn because you're on a rock, you do activate in the engagement phase. Of course. So you are about to engage. You take an ion token. You don't engage because you're on a rock. And then you're ionized. It's a really rough turn for Scorch. Uh, Wedge continuing to pummel people with that agility reduction ability of his. Well, with that ion on Scorch, it means Wedge is absolutely free to do what he wants any old time. Correct me if I'm wrong, Aaron, but I think the ionization one forward from Scorch bumps Corrin Horn and keeps Scorch on the rock. Sorry, what does? I think that the one forward ionization move from Scorch, who moves before Cor Corrin Horn, I can't will quite bump see him and from keep here, him on the rock. But it looks like it. That's rough. Wedge can probably just one forward and finish off Scorch at that point. Corrin's going to get himself back. He could probably come about with a two or a three turn mm -hmm. and then get guns back on the rest of Christian's list this way. This is shaping up to be a pretty good uh, match so far for our, uh, our friend Marcel from Chicago. Indeed. So it's interesting. This, uh, this match has come down to two suboptimal maneuvers from Christian, more or less. 
some slightly hotter, just slightly hotter than average dice. Well, I mean, to be myself. fair, though, dude, I think that you were right. When Tabson was here, I think the right move was not to stall. I think that the one bank would have probably given him more options for where Wedge and Cassian were. But again, hindsight's twenty twenty. We're 10,000 feet off the ground in the, in the streaming booth. You're not on the table. Sure. You're not under the hot lights or in the top 16 of the system open on day two. So Sure. It I doesn't mean, mean I'm not going to enunciate my judgy opinions, though. Fair. <laughs> I mean, that's what they pay me for. <laughs> that's where they pay they, you the big bucks? They don't pay me. <laughs> they don't pay me nothing. They pay us in chocolate-covered pomegranates. <laughs> no, that's you. I really don't think there was any. I think the tabs and choices on Christian's part were on point. Um, I think the quick draw. Yeah, quick draw's dice that last turn was pretty rough. That definitely put him behind. Dice were not great, and the one straight was unfortunately exactly what he did not need to Marcel do. Marcel definitely did a fantastic job of positioning his wedge just into position for that yeah. long bomb pro torp and having Corrin here. And having he, three shots of quick draw, you're going to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he left wedge's foils closed so he could coordinate a focus boost. Um, to change Wedge's position where he needed to, which was a nice piece of flying. All right, we got a 4K from Muse, which takes the stress but then eventually ends up being white because uh, Muse's ability, and Victor, if you wouldn't mind just throwing Muse up on the board. So what you'll see here, folks, uh -huh. is the crucial difference between Muse and Cassian is Muse's ability works on a friendly at range zero. So that this could be yourself. Nice. Whereas Cassian's ability is a friendly at range one to three. Look at this maneuver by Christian. Here we were counting him out and he gets Tavson's big butt swung around up the board. He's going to be able to use Muse to remove that stress from him uh, so if nice anybody move. wants to show, shoot him. I so think Leo Cassian's was done. triggered this turn. Excellent. Thank you for the feedback from the table. Emily conveying that Leia was indeed triggered. There's the hard luck ionization one forward from Zale We hardly knew you, Scorch. Yeah. So we're going to have disabled power regulator crit turned down. Roll for the rock. No damage. No damage. Saving grace. Scorch is hanging on. Probably going to get a K turn with an action from Corrin Horn here. Yeah, and get wiped up by a Pro Torp before say. anything else happens. But if Wedge is K-turning, Tavson has a chance at taking him out, which, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, would leave Tavson and Muse against Corrin and Cassian. I see a red maneuver. It's a 4K. Yeah. 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 So Wedge is going to take the 4K. Zeta leaders no, no threat on a rock, can't shoot. So I think Marcel's decided, you know what, now's as good a time as any. Let's dump. 12 red dice into the Upsilon. Get some half health on him. Corrin is still locked on Scorch. Muse going to take off Tavson's stress. Tavson can use pilot ability to spend those charges now. Yep. And so there does are Wedge going take the shot or not? Two shots before Tavson shoots. So. Hmm. No, he shoots at Muse if he's got it. Looks like he doesn't. Well, I guess we'll see when the dice are rolled. Yeah, we are going to see. It's it's an interesting target priority choice that, that Marcel has in front of himself here. Wedge only has one target, but if he shoots Tavson, that's just going to take a target lock on him max. So it's yep. like, uh, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Yep. It's a good comeback round for Christian. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but... Uh, I think Wedge has passed his turn yep. and decided not to Wedge shoot. Wedge opting not to take a shot Good in the call. combat phase here. Corrin Horn going to spend Proton Torpedo shot, focusing up for three hits hit, hit. and a crit on Scorch. <laughs> I think it's two hits, two crits, but whatever. Socks and sandals, two hits, two crits. Trip of Vades. Uh, no, 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 natties. I think that was a third of eight. I can't quite see the dice. Taken one. It's a crit. Oh, no, whatever it was killed him. Direct. Direct. Oh. oh, the drama. Nothing worse than rolling triple natties on defense and still dying. Honestly, when I'm on the other end of that and I'm like, oh, my God, he rolled triple natties. <laughs> and then he dies from a direct hit. I can't tell you the weird emotional 
trajectory of that like couple of seconds. So Wedge blanking out there. He takes Grace two. Three obstructed, takes two, and is down to one health. Yep. What a fortuitous turn of events. But we believe he's out of range of Muse, so he gets to live another round. Yeah, Muse is going to be able to two bank left or two straight, and the Ypsilon can stop. Mm -hmm. Muse can do its thing again. Mm -hmm. Cassian going to take a range one shot. One hit, two crits on the Ypsilon. Continues to roll hot. Hot, hot, hot. But disrespect evade. Tavson. As a reminder to all our fun-loving viewers, up here in Canada, we refer to a one-die evade roll from something like a Ypsilon or a Y-Wing or a VCX at range three. Mm -hmm. uh, to roll those one-die evade results, we call that a disrespect evade. It's all in good fun, folks. Hurricane Jeremy Christian here, he, uh, he kind of came up with the notion of the disrespect evade, and it's all in good fun. We I don't mean, actually mean to disrespect or shame him. That happens later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is an impressive showing from Tavson here. I mean, Christian is really piloting the hell out of this great big boat. Does Muse have arc? I guess we're figuring that out. Muse got no arc on the U-wing. Okay. They're re-measuring range has to wedge. no long bomb to wedge. That'll do it. Off to the planning phase. Can Tavson possibly get an arc on Wedge here? Well, even if Tavson can take out Wedge, I think Muse would be hard-pressed to finish the job. Oh, yeah. Corrin still has a recharge, and we only got 13 minutes left. So oh, yeah. It's right. getting on there. I do want to take a chance uh, before we get to the end of our match, Aaron, to remind take all of chance, our viewers. Uh, big shout-outs thanks to Cascade Games, who Woo. finally got their act together, got up here to Canada. We've only been inviting them for two years, but... You know, we're, we're polite, we're patient, so they're finally here. We love them having them. Steve and his uh, crew having a great weekend. Big shout-out to their uh, Canadian executional partners at Face-to-Face -face Games out of Toronto. Graham and the boys, uh, wonderful setup. We got yeah. Destiny going. We got Keyforge going. Uh, we got Hangar Bay X-Wing, Hyperspace X-Wing going. Um, yeah, it's been a good weekend so far. You had, a, you had fun, bud? Uh... Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's fun. You look a little tired, though. So. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and I wasn't out drinking all night last night. Well, you know, we can't all be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were referring to yourself. Yeah, I suppose. All it was right. fun, though. We showed up at the bar last night, mm -hmm. and I think there were 40 of us. Mm -hmm. And I, I went over to the manager at one point. I'm like, wow, the food's taking a long time. She's like, yeah, I'm really sorry. Whoever booked the reservation only told us that 15, one, five people were coming. But there's like 40 of you, and I don't have enough staff. <laughs> yes. You are too popular, Timbo. Too popular. It wasn't me. Half. No? People heard that, you know, Dion, Marcel, everybody else. We were all going Americans. out together. The French squads. Oh, yeah. But the only thing that could have made yesterday better than it was mm -hmm. actually happened. At the end of Toronto finally getting a system open event, mm -hmm. the Toronto Maple Leafs defeated the Canadians from behind. So there we are with our friends from La Belle Provence mm -hmm. who are sitting there with their Canadian oh, jerseys yeah. on. It was great. I would have liked to hang out with those guys, actually. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, okay, Muse taking a two-turn. Going to focus up. Try and yep. get Ark on Wedge here. Set it, Muse up for a three-turn the following stop. turn. Tapson taking the stop. Muse going to get rid of that stress. Nom, 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 nom. Nassi Cassian trying a two-bank. That might no. It's not going to end him up on that rock. It's going to bump the U wing. It doesn't really matter if it does. I mean, I guess he's shooting at Muse if he doesn't. So it does matter. Never mind me. Christian continuing to deny Cassian the ability to use the U wing's coordinate tack officer. I think we've only seen one or two coordinates from Cassian in this game, yep. and that was that clutch one with the focus boost. Yep. But uh, I think that. Marcel would have preferred to have one or two more coordinates in this game than he has. Yeah, Tavson in this game really did some great, uh, what's it called in that sport you like with the, the Leafs and the, the Habs? Yeah, the, the check. Give me your Canada the card, check. man. I'm revoking your Canada <laughs> card. Come on. You know what? I don't like poutine <laughs> either. <laughs> Three bank from Corin Horn. My word. Going in for the kill. Yep, double tap. I mean, Marcel wants to try to get to the break sooner. 
Well, Corrin Horn's fire control system, very useful here. I think the better call is to barrel roll target lock and not take the return shot from Tabson. Well, I don't think he can lock here because he's range one. Oh, unless he locks Muse. He what is locking Muse. What I'm saying is if, you, if oh, yeah. you barrel roll into range two and then target lock. Oh, yeah, right. He, yeah. he wants to kill Muse. Oh, he wants to kill Muse. Okay. Yep. Does Corrin, Corrin doesn't have any Pro Torps left, though. Uh, All you're the right. Pro Torps are spent. You're right. I think, anyway. Wedge does a one straight. Wow. Oh, Wedge ah. shoots first. Sure. I mean, he's just surrendered Wedge. I mean, it doesn't matter. This is like, you know, elimination. So, who Yeah, cares? it's single elimination. MOV doesn't matter. And with respect, I think for Corrin can finish the job. I mean, Christian's just fighting for honor here. Big shout out to the chat, Deviant AML. Factually accurate, Poutine is, in fact, Amaze Balls. Whose balls? Amaze Balls. Oh, I don't know that person. It's kind of like the merge of the word amazing and awesome, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nope. It's all true, folks. MOV no longer matters. This is day two single elimination top 16 action coming at you. Yes. From the heart of uh, Woodbridge, we which got is kind of Toronto, but yeah, it's Toronto system open. Some part of Toronto we never look at. It was a tactical decision not to have the Toronto system open in downtown Toronto. Canadian Nationals was in downtown Toronto last year, where hotel rooms are like $800 a night. Per no minute. thank you. <laughs> All right, so we got Wedge shooting at Tavson. Let's roll some dice, guys. Okay, Marcel going to shoot first. Wedge going to take a range two on Tavson. So Tavson mm -hmm. will lose a die and gain a die for the rock. Wedge going to... Keep that focus token, try and stay alive. I think there's something wrong with my clock displaying. I think the clock there is slow. That's actually how much time they have left. Okay, so I've just been informed that there is, in fact, only one minute and 43 seconds left in this match. The time displayed at the top here has yeah, gone incorrect. Yeah, our clock started after the, for some the reason round rather. clock. Yeah. Table judge has confirmed. We got one and one half minutes So the players left. know the score. Yeah, players know the time. They've known the time the whole time. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, they've known the time the whole time. <laughs> it's a Cindy Lauper song, isn't it? Our language is funny. It is. Like live and live. Yep. Kind of different. Uh, no, I believe all the po all the Pro Torps are spent. Yep, so that's two Re dice. on two. Muse, two hits on Muse. Muse is at full health. Oh, it's on Tavson. No, it wasn't at Tavson. You're right. Yep. What, what's, what's going on? But Oh, yeah, so Christian just realized that Corrin was shooting at Muse, not oh, Tavson. Okay. Rolls the other two dice, spends a focus. Doesn't takes matter. One no damage. arc here. Shield. Powers up Fanatical. Fanatical now active on Muse. And here it comes. Christian's rolling dice like he is. Sounds like I'm strangling a, a small animal. <laughs> and Taking he's a target going lock. the lock. Wants Wedge Antilles' his head mounted on he his wall. Going to get it. Four. Goodbye, Wedge Antilles. Two hit crit going is that through. Enough to Down do wedge? goes oh, yeah, the rebel was. ace. Blam. All right, so that is the conclusion of Tristan's turn. Cassian still has to shoot. Looks like time's going to expire, folks. Mm -hmm. That is the game. We will finish this. Con we will finish this engagement phase, and then we will have to call it. Cassian going to take a range two shot on Muse. Hit hit crit. Marcel's dice are so hot. Not enough to kill a TIE fighter unless that's a direct hit. See what Marcel nets out as far as points killed on this match. Sure. Corrin can I double mean, tap. Sure, yeah, Corrin could double tap here. Again, MOV doesn't matter here because it's elimination. Yep. So they're just playing because they like to. And we're just sitting here commentating because we can't <laughs> stop. Big shout out to v v uh, VWTV Live, folks. Thanks again for uh, tuning in.